Hey, what up everybody, it's Ivan here and we're continuing to build our Android AI app together and in this video we're gonna learn how to work with buttons in Android Studio as well as uh, how to do can can canny uh, edge detection uh, in OpenCV so before we get started, if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing because you know, if you're like enjoying this series, that would be I think a good thing if you would like get notified when I release a new one so that you know you wouldn't just miss it and also smash that like button if you're just as excited as I am about the series and let's get started and God will be like on github you know as always so let's get started so all right guys in the last video I've, I've emptied the uh, on camera frame function so that we could like start a new and uh, this tutorial will kind of be like a two parts, I mean, I mean it will be like one video but like in two parts and the first will basically basically type out everything that we need to run edge detection you know on like every single frame and I will add the uh, button so that we can switch between like that normal view and the like normal the like RGB you know normal just camera view you know and stuff uh, to like this view of uh, you know OpenCV uh, edge detection that we have so uh, both are gonna be like pr pretty quick. I mean, the first one is gonna be like real quick with Kenny. So let's get started. So let's type out the code to process every frame uh, with edge detection. So it'll go something like this. First, we gotta uh, convert the current frame that we have to grayscale. So we've already kind of know how to do that. So it's gonna be like uh, uh, it's gonna be like mg proc. SVT color and then the source mod which is like matrix which is like the frame version is gonna be frame and the destination will also be frame so that we can like modify in the frame and the instruction will be uh, color uh, RGBA which is this guy we have here to grayscale all right so we've converted it to like grayscale and then we just gotta add just one line of code to add the edge detection and it'll also go like this which is like the beauty of OpenSphere like so many useful functions are just built in which is like super cool and super cool if we know how to use them and like that's what we're kind of figuring out here so it'll be like IMG proc K uh, then the source map will be frame destination map will be frame and the first threshold will be 100 and the second threshold will be uh, um, will be 80 and if you want to like, learn more about thresholds uh, like I'll pr probably leave a link to like the official docs but that's kinda uh, beyond the scope of what we're trying to do here so like uh, you know if you want to like get better with like edge detection uh, you know with like different thresholds and, thresholds and stuff you want to like add some blur like before uh like before that for instance like if you want to blur it like you can do this like this but and that'll you know removes like th there will less edges because the image will be like more blurred but it's kind of like beyond the scope of what we're trying to do here so we'll just go with the regular uh edge detection so yeah and that's kind of it so right now if we were to like launch the app it will start with number seeing the frames via the on camera frame function uh, it'll convert them to grayscale and it'll, co it'll convert them to like uh it'll like detect their edges and you know show it to us and now we gotta add the button to like control the whole thing so uh to add the button we'll, we'll go to the activity main that xml and so here in common we have this button guy here so we'll just drag and drop it let's say here in the center so when we have a button so a couple of words so because all the android devices like have got you know like all the different screens and you know you can you, you can just you know specify for instance like put the button at like 10 pixel by Y and 10 pixel by S somewhere here and expect it to be at like exactly the same place place you know because if this screen is big it'll be like super close here and if the screen is like small it'll be like here you know uh, so what's being used here is uh, relative layout which is like uh, we can kind of kind of attach our button we can like 
uh, select these boundaries for like our button uh, as to where it should be, you know, and it'll be like relative. So if the screen will be like of a different size, it will, you know, try to locate it also like in the middle at about like uh, eight, I think those are like in DPIs or something like that, but like it'll locate them relatively still in the uh, center of the screen. And if you want to say uh, undo one guy here, we can like remove this guy here. If you want to like start a new, for instance, let's place the button, yep, yeah, about here. So we'll do this. We'll also touch the left side and the button. So now, uh, even if we were to like put her up in like the horizontal mode, the button would still appear appear like relatively relatively here uh, in the middle, just like you know I've shown in the demo in the beginning. So, yeah. And now we want this button to do something. Let me just make sure that you can see. Yeah, you can see. Good. Uh, and now we gotta specify what this button should do. And this button should la la like uh, start a like launch a function. Function that will be named Kenny. So we put here on click, we put here Kenny. And of course we haven't yet specified what the Kenny function is. So to do so, we'll go here somewhere like here. Why not? And we'll say here, uh, we'll say here public void, which public stands for like that you can refer this function from like some other class, something like that, and the void which means that it'll have no, uh, it, it, it won't return anything. And yeah, and we'll name it Kenya. You know, the name should match that, would be able to like work. And here we'll put few buttons to that, you know, it gets launched with a button. And now the question is, what are we gonna put in the K function that we can kind of like regulate this in camera frame function? So since it's always gonna like receive those frames, uh, the only good way that I, like I found to control it is via boolean variables. So we'll have something like if we press the button, it'll turn a boolean variable true. Then we'll process the frame. And if we press the button again, you know, it'll be false and I will like won't press the frame. I mean, it's like, it's like really simple stuff. So we'll define here a Boolean variable, say, uh, uh, we'll name it start okay? and we'll say that by default, it's going to be false. And here in this function that gets triggered by our button, we'll say that, hey, if uh, start K is false, right if it if it's false we'll say that make make it true yeah i mean pretty intuitive pretty simple actually like real simple and if it was like in the put here like else which means that like if it was if it were uh true we'll say that hey how about you uh, make start game false so that we can kind of switch like back and back and forth between the uh, between the like add detection view and the normal view, you know, whatever we want. So that's what like this function will do here. Yep, if it's false, you know, make it true. If it's true, make it false. Straightforward, like simple stuff. And here we'll say basically if um, if start game equals to true my my little my little brain that you know used to python wants to put here a uh a, a column i think it's called um but now we gotta use brackets here so if start k is true so yeah and we'll say that hey if start k is true then Convert it to grayscale and do edge detection, and then you know receive the processed frame because it'll you know basically get processed here. And if it's false, then you know it'll just receive the RGBA frame and will just show the norm normal frame. And thus we'll be able to achieve that nice you know switch back and forth effect with edge detection. So now we'll go and we just plug my phone. Yep. There I am plugging my phone. So 
down, you know, as always, we'll go and we'll... Okay, just let my computer think for a moment. And so now, as always, we'll go and we'll uh, run the app. And actually, I'll debug it, you know, in case there are some problems there. So we'll say debug. And now we'll you know, just kind of wait, like wait while it's building the whole thing. So while it's uh, been built on my machine, I just want to say a couple of words that, you know, the on-camera frame function will be like getting triggered anyway. And what we basically did here is it said that, you know, the camera frame function gets triggered and but will you know press frame only when this guy is true and this guy is only true when we uh, switch it you know back and forth with the buttons so yeah that's what we're you know basically did here just some uh, commentary for me you know while the whole thing is building uh, it's kind of boring for me so no uh, i'll pause the video here and so i was able to successfully build the app and like get it to work as you can see you know everything is working uh one other thing is that right now it says here button, but you know if we wanted to, we could actually you know go here and you know change the name of the button to say you know Kenny, just like I've shown in the uh, beginning. So you know now it's kind of like it's gonna it's gonna see it's gonna see Kenny here. Oh, yeah, right here, right here Kenny. So yeah, you can see it says you now Kenny. Uh, or you know uh, you can put here like whatever you want. Oh, you can see the button will like will even like adjust its size which is like dope so uh, that's it for the, this video um in yep just you know, gonna gonna talk with the detection so uh that's it for like this video um in the next one we'll actually begin working with the dnn module i think that in the one after the next one we'll you know start running yellow and um, if you like this video, please, you know, smash the like button and uh, please subscribe so that, you know, you get notified and I, you know, know that, you know, it kind of brings value to you, which is, like, cool. And also, if, you, if you're, like, enjoying this uh, series and you would like to support me, uh, ways to do that are in the description. I would really appreciate it if you do, if you're, like, getting value out of this and you're, like, in a position, uh, you know, that would, be, that would be, you know, dope and cool like that would be you know really really nice and smart like button also like ring that bell and i will see you in the next one i hope that you guys are doing the best bye